Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And we're playing one of my weeb games. It's the new uh, Atlier game that came out recently for the Switch. Uh, ID and Suel? I think so. I'll be honest. It, there's layers of language stacked on each other at this okay, point. So, Lady. Ah, yeah, let's just go with Sue. There you go. Instead of, like, Sueli or whatever it is. Yeah, Suel? Sueli? I don't know. Sue. <laughs> We've basically just watched the opening cutscene and hit go. Because, uh, well, I haven't played this one yet. It seemed fun to just sort of dive in. Um, I played, like, the PS2 ones, and then, like, Altier Iris, and then there was, like, a sequel to it. And then, um, I've occasionally sort of, like, crossed paths with this one, but I haven't really kept as much track of it as I would have liked. Yeah, these I, gals must be down on their luck. They can't even afford a whole shirt. That is a deeper-seated <laughs> problem with anime clothing that I don't think that this game can address. But yes, <laughs> the character designs are eccentric. That's what we're going with. Eccentric. Well, she's got sleeves, and she's got a front bit, <laughs> and she has a back bit that's laced up. Yep. Like, some kind of corset, maybe. <laughs> but, uh... But it's missing the middle bit. Under the shoulders. Yeah, and there's no... No ribbing or boning or whatever it's called. The, the part that gives it structure. It is just cloth laced together from the looks of it. But, uh... Yeah, no, like, I've, I've sort of, like... Fell out of touch with this game series for a while because they were on the PS3. And I was a Xbox 360 person. And I'll be honest, these games were like one of one of two franchises I looked at on the PS3 and said, ah, I kind of want to play that. <laughs> yeah. Um, this and a couple of Nipponichi games, basically. Um, but I wasn't willing to drop the uh, like you know three or four hundred dollars just for my weeb games. I mean, really, that's what it came down to. <laughs> um, I picked up one on the DS. I've played it for a little bit. Um. I will say they're a bit of a commitment. Like, I liked this game on the PS2 because I was like, oh man, that crafting system. Because it's not magic, it's alchemy. So it's all about having ingredients and making stuff. Um, you know, potions and weapons and effects and everything in the game can be crafted out of stuff. And that was neat. I mean, that was pretty advanced stuff for the PS2. Uh, but I will say whenever I get back into one of these, there's a point where I remember that the grinding isn't just leveling, it is in fact filling out your recipe book. I mean... I mean, I guess that's a lot of what Minecraft is, is collecting lots of stuff to make stuff. But, of course, this is more heavily codified and, and less... Sure. This is more, you know, like heavily regimented, whereas, like, you can make creative stuff in uh, Minecraft and the like. This, you can make a large number of things, but you can't make a new thing. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, in Minecraft, you can build buildings and stuff, or Heck Trove, or any of the other, like, blocky build stuff type games that are out. This one, you can just build lots and lots of different ability stuffs. <laughs> This is Mervyn, royal capital of the kingdom of Adalat, a glorious city with a long history. We're not going to get into that history, probably. At least not right now. Alright. I do think this is the first one with two characters at the center of it, like... Wait, they're twins. Except one's older. <laughs> maybe I'm, they didn't mean twin, uh, literally. Or maybe this is one of those, like, you were born, like, 30 seconds first. That could be, too. Still older, Shakes Fist. Okay, so they run a shop. Yep. 
like an alchemy shop. Oh man, it'd be funny if this was sort of a bait and switch on me and I basically got Reketeer, <laughs> which was an item shop game where you ran an item shop. And you didn't get to do any of the fighting directly. You had to, like, follow a hapless adventurer around with a spell that meant the monsters wouldn't hit you and, like, collect all their stuff. Yeah. But, uh, no, like, I don't know. There's a weird sort of dichotomy of these games because there's, there's the crafting part and it's really, really, like, in-depth. And then there's the fighting, which I remember being, at least back in the PS2 era, super grindy. But you needed it to do the other part of the game. <laughs> well, at least everybody wears stupid clothes. <laughs> I was gonna say, that vest looks like it's meant for somebody much shorter. Roger? Really? I mean, I think it's going for a pseudo-European vibe with the names. I guess. I mean, she's Sue. Oh yeah, this was something about a magic painting, or magic paintings, which is kind of new. But, uh, I mean, like, each one has a different setting. Like, Alter Iris was very serious alchemy stuff. I played one where you were at, like, a magic academy, and, like, that was kind of neat. Uh, the DS one, I think you end up lost on, like, an island? It's been a very long time since I played that one, but or any of them really. Okay, so there was a PS4 one, but I think I was just like in the middle of something else and I completely missed it. Like that one's actually my fault. <laughs> okay. I think you want to put all the stuff in the box. I'm trying. Oh. Maybe everything already went in the box. It sounded like it wanted you to put stuff away. <laughs> okay, I had to cancel out. Oh. Weird. <laughs> oh man, sounds like you're real good at this alchemy thing. made bandages. Good. The XP recovery extra small. HP recovery extra small. Great. Gotta start somewhere. And it levels up your alchemy, which is a stat uh, that you need, because if you are trying to do high level alchemy and you're not there, it won't let you do it. Now we just need to make the next... Why? Because we're low-level alchemists. I think this is... Maybe this is why you don't have a lot of clothing. Maybe this has happened on a regular basis. Although I gotta say that super long sleeve looks like it's just asking to get... Right? Like... Oh, man. Oh, this reminds me of a study that they did showing that, uh... Like, coat sleeves and lanyards and ties and stuff like that are a huge source of, like, contamination for, uh, like, experiments and stuff in labs. Basically, anything dangly. Uh, beards. Beards are also a good source of that. But only yeah. if they're, like, stupid wizard-sized beards. Like, regular beards are probably fine, but... Anything that dangles from you, you know, like, you should probably have things secured. <laughs> Tuck your tie in. That sort of thing. The idea that that had to be a rule is somewhat in... Uh. I mean, I could totally see somebody bending over like a Bunsen inverter and catching their silk tie on mm. fire, like... 
Well, at least they're explaining the terminology that an Altier is an alchemy shop. Yeah, yeah. Even if the local adventurer doesn't seem to believe it. They want them to be an odd job store. They kinda are. I mean, in a sense, yeah, they have to get alchemy ingredients somehow. Unless you already have the money to buy all the ingredients you need, that usually means go out and punching things. Hello, random person. The vulgar merchant. Okay. Hello, random person. Hello, random back alley. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Hello, beach bum. Wearing a lot Please. of clothes on it. Hello. Whoa. Alright. That camera did not know what to do with that beach chair, so it just decided... Alright, you get to be inside that model now. Check out their fillings. <laughs> Maybe it's because they were enlightened. Their title was Enlightened Boy. I suppose. If we could see them clearly, we too would be enlightened. Hmm. I hope time's not progressing. I see a little daylight thing on the top left there. <laughs> but I would hope the game would know that you've just got dropped in the middle of this and maybe give you a minute to find one's bearings. So, maybe it's not moving yet. <laughs> To-do list. Okay, so we have to deliver a thing to the blacksmith and a nun. Okay. okay. That map's not super helpful. Uh, I think okay. I gotta go to a place with the star. That would make a certain amount of sense. Oh. Oh, fast travel, thank you. Don't make us play your wacky camera angle game, please. <laughs> but using fast travel makes you lose immersion. <laughs> But when I play I... this guy with three quarters of a shirt. The other sleeve burned off last week. <laughs> it's on order. <laughs> That's I'm, not, what... I'm sure one of her sle one of her sleeves does not look like it goes with the rest of that shirt. <laughs> it's all that could be saved from the last one. And she saves it as a keepsake of the last shirt. Mm. Hagel the blacksmith. Oh man. That's a look. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Not quite the voice I was thinking. I was expecting stern Japanese, man. We made band-aids. Perhaps he, too, sets himself on fire from time to time and needs band-aids. <laughs> Hooray, we got money. See, the ones you made last week, you weren't high enough level to make the bandages, so... Alrighty. Oh man, that's what happened to the rest of your shirt. <laughs> I had to make bandages. <laughs> now this is a happening place. Miners. Covert merchant. I don't understand what a covert merchant is. I mean, I do, but I'm wondering why he's hanging out here in the middle of the day. Oh, like black market? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I want to think Covert Merchant. I think of the guy in the Resident Evil games that's the coat full of <laughs> guns, man. It 
So you're gonna go give the stuff to the nun, right? That's the plan. I'm gonna wander around and intrude on people's lives first. I mean, somebody had to program it. They probably appreciate that. Why don't you got nothing <clears throat> to say, old lady? <laughs> They're just there to populate the town so it doesn't look too empty. Uh, they're doing a great job. <laughs> uh, why, why do all these games have such gigantic empty towns? They're worried that the town won't look big enough to be real. <laughs> well, that just gives you another problem. It really does. But, like, you remember, like, the old RPGs on, like, you know, the Nintendo and Super Nintendo and stuff, where the town uh, where was town three is... houses. Yeah, yeah. Three houses, two of them were there for flavor, one's where all the quests happen. I am error. Yeah. You know, like, they're trying to step it up, but it's hard. <laughs> it turns out scenery is easier than people, though, so, like, we get a bigger town. True. Then you gotta true. put stuff in the town. Oh, well, that's fairly stylish. I mean, at least we don't have to make any jokes about her being the one of the cloth and not having any. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. There's that. <laughs> okay, why does she have a handle on the back? Well, uh, you know, or like a door knocker or whatever that is. It's just there to keep the the. You shell have it too. On. Look, you also have some kind of yeah, I don't back know. shelf. Oh, no, I you still haven't completed delivered the thing. Yeah, you just got the cutscene. Can't cut do scene. that in the cutscene. <laughs> well, I'm assuming that not everyone gets a fully animated cutscene like this. Just the important people. That bit on my back looks like it's metal. I think it is. How is it staying up? There's no support there. <laughs> <laughs> it's your one piece of armor. <laughs> Hooray! We got a hundred money. But yeah, like, there are going to be tons of jobs like this if I had to take a stab at it. And, uh, they're not all gonna have nice animations like that, because that would be really expensive for a game of this, like, budgetary tier. So, they need you to know how to dig in your equipment and give people stuff. I suppose... See, they're gonna front load all the immersion. Then there's the grind, and then there's similar immersion. Ah, JRPG. Right. <laughs> yeah, time to go look for work. Well, it's on the to-do list. You could probably go to the menu and take a look and see what the work is. I mean, I think the work is finding work. Just talk to the right peeps. That looks like a thing. Can't step on the thing. And clearly a powerful magic that you can't step on it. Map sounds good. Whoa. You guys are... How are you not dead? <laughs> like, you guys are just way too... <laughs> way too dressed up. I was gonna say, like... You're dressed pretty casual in terms of amount of clothing, but nobody seems bundled up except those two. Yeah. It's June, guys. Come on. Yeah. No, it definitely looks like a nice summer day with all the plants and stuff. I don't know, whenever I see two characters facing each other like that, like, I always think they're having a Pokemon battle. You know, that'd make a lot of sense. Well, just, like, because they're just standing there. Yeah. Like, there's no gesturing, no animation to them. They're hey, just there. Hey, it's adventure guy. He's a guard. All right. This looks like it should have a job board. This looks town square you right? I see some merchants. Actually, point of fact, I've seen almost exclusively merchants. There's a lot of merchants. <laughs> None with anything for sale. Nothing for us, I guess. 
Maybe it's... Maybe the flower merchants won't sell us anything after we accidentally made a powerful potion out of it. That's fair. <laughs> no, I'm not selling you any more nightshade. None. Not after that one time. Maybe some people are anemic and they need the extra heat. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, talk to big talk to big boy. He doesn't have any lines. Oh. Wanna talk to the big guy with the tiny hat. Is it a hat? I thought it was his hair. It's awful shiny hair. It is awful shiny hair. I just for some reason thought that he had styled a small pate of hair and then that like no, ponytail. I think you're right. I think that's what is that hairstyle? I think he's made it into some kind of little fire symbol. Huh. That would take a lot of pomade, so it would be shiny, I guess. I guess. It's like having a tiny billboard on your head, on your noggin. <laughs> I am a fiery temper. Oh, thank you for letting me know. All right. And we're back. Oh, home. I saw something glowy on the right. It's a well. Oh, that's right outside her shaft. The water well. Okay. I assume that does something, but not right now. It's not a well, it's a cistern. It has very little water. Yeah. Unless it's magic. I mean, it is glowy. Oh. <laughs> Gotta fast travel back to that notice board, because yeah. we didn't notice it before. Oh, we probably had to run the entire length of the city to get to it. <laughs> See, this is why I don't mind the fast travel. I mean, like, it gives us a little opening cutscene anyway. True. <clears throat> oh, there's a rival alchemy shop. There's... That one probably has good alchemists huh. that are, like, good at it. <laughs> I bet they can buy both sleeves. Mine are on layaway. <laughs> I had to tear, I had to tear one of my sleeves off to make your shoulder pad. Spoiler, Cause look at spoiler it. Spoiler alert: They're sharing the same clothes. No, they totally are. It's just one outfit. Cause uh, look, the, the girl in uh, yellow's shoulder pad is the same color as the sleeves on the oh other gal. God, it is. They are wearing one set of clothes <laughs> between them. Austerity is a B. <laughs> See, look, everything matches. It's a complete outfit. Okay, something's going on. <laughs> the Sindere is very angry. Gotta get out of its tiny flail range. <laughs> fighting monsters, fighting a pet. Oh yeah, they're actually good at their job. <laughs> well, they have to practice their alchemy and get good somehow. True. They can't afford true. to just grind alchemy in the backyard. They need it to... Their side hustle has to pay for itself. <laughs> I know how this they... isn't. This isn't their side hustle. This is just their hustle hustle. <laughs> They're children. I think everything's a side hustle for children. That's fair. Their dad, though. I think their dad's side hustle is painting from the sound of it. And it does not pay for itself. No, it does not. Okay, so we got went to the job board. Didn't get a job. And I don't know. Uh, go back to the big map that tells us where everything is. Probably a good call. Where's that gaggle of people? Oh. oh. <laughs> Let them all in. Turned them into frogs, stuffed them in jars. <laughs> Look, your painting better be awesome. <laughs> Experimenting with what? Well, in theory, he's actually somewhat good at alchemy. Like, 
I have to assume someone is, or they wouldn't have started an alchemy shop. Mm. But you have to have ingredients and then, like, a recipe in order to make something with alchemy. So, he was saying his, his painting made him think of a recipe for alchemy. Synthesize some bread. I mean, you can make food. Alchemy makes foods. <laughs> I love how when the game loaded, he didn't look concerned, and then it had to go... Oh, concerned faith. Oh man, he's going with the light bulb method of alchemy. I've just found a thousand ways not to synthesize a new thing. What? You are a bad father. He literally ran away. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, those two getting caught on fire making bandages was actually an improvement over letting Dad like touch the thing. I suppose. Now somebody's hearing voices. No, that's hunger. You haven't eaten in three days. Started hallucinating. If you're hearing voices from the basement from your deadbeat dad, you better go check that out. Yeah, he might have he might have added kidnapping to the list of weird things. I don't feel guilty about investigating the basement at all. Anyway, next time on Endless Mode, we're going to check out Creepy Dad's basement and, <laughs> and hope it doesn't end up being a horror out game. If we're going to have to uh, age restrict this at all. <laughs> Probably not, but then again, who knows. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll catch you later.